thank you so much for joining us today. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, World War II ended in 1918. This day became recognized as Veterans Day. Today is the day that we pause to honor all of our veterans. We thank and honor those who have served, but also we want to thank their families. Families who spent holidays without their loved ones, who worried about their safety when they were in service to our country. Many of my friends have children that are currently serving in the military. They are now being deployed to the Middle East from their posts in Europe, from stateside posts. Many kids that graduated from John Jay High School, from Ketchum High School, from Beacon High School, are now being deployed to the Middle East. It's hard not to have them home for the holidays, and it's hard for their parents not to be able to see them or know where they are. So today, we also honor the families of our military. To our veterans, we are forever grateful to you for your service. We honor and we thank you. I'd like to just introduce a few of the local dignitaries and thank a few people who helped put this ceremony together. I'd like to thank Protection Engine for providing us today with the big flag. It's beautiful and we thank you so much for doing that for us. Also, thank you to the village staff. We thank Dale and his crew for setting everything up for us. Also, thank you to Julie Spann, our activities committee director. She always does a wonderful job for us. Thank you um, to all of the people who have come together to make this event possible. Also, I'd like to acknowledge Don Williams, our retired police chief from Fishkill, is here today with us. A.J. Beepham, our New York State Assemblyman. Our former mayor is here today, Mayor Michio. And trustees, uh, Deputy Mayor Furlano, Trustee Schofield and Ruggiero are all here to help celebrate with us today. So at this time, please rise for our national anthem, which will be sung by Diana Ferrara. Before I sing today, I want to share with everyone the flag that I hold in my hands right now was flown today over the Arizona and Pearl Harbor. I was there this past April and happened to see it and have it. So I wish I wanted to share it with everyone. Um, it is an action certificate that says that it was flown there. And it really, it, it brings a tear to my eye. And uh, um, uh, it moved me terribly. Um, and I sing for all the veterans and everyone that's in the armed services and up for our country. Oh, say, can you see from the dawn's early light what so proudly we held and the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the
Thank you so much, Diana. And now we'll invite Pastor John Young up here for our invocation. I invite you to join me in prayer. Almighty God, creator and provider of all things, we give you thanks for your many blessings. On this day, we especially remember that greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. We thank you for those who answered the call to put their lives on the line to protect family, friends, and homeland. While not forgetting those who made the ultimate sacrifice, we are grateful that you preserved the lives of those who served and did return home, whom we honor as veterans today. Many witness the horrors of war and depend on you to sustain them with your healing of both body and spirit, and with your peace, which passes all understanding. Continue to support them and work through all your people to help as needed whenever we have opportunity. Bless our observance today, that our veterans would feel the love and appreciation we have for them. We ask these things, O Lord, recognizing your grace and mercy to hear us. Receive also our thanks and praise. Amen. And now we're going to have the Fish, Town of Fishkill Cadets present the colors. join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And now we're going to have the placement of the wreath by the Village of Fishkill PBA. I'd like to introduce to you, uh, to say a few words to us today, our New York State Assemblyman, Anel Beepin. Thank you, Mayor Martin and the Village Board for allowing me to join your ceremonies this morning. You know, we paused throughout the year uh, a few times to honor those who have served this country. But Veterans Day is one of my favorite because we get to honor those who are oftentimes still with us. Folks that, that work normal jobs, they, they're in our communities, they're part of our families, and I don't think we pause enough to thank them for their sacrifice and service to our nation. So if you are a veteran here, please raise your hand and let us acknowledge you and thank you. Thank you guys. In our role in the state legislature, when it comes to serving veterans, it's, it can be challenging because a lot of these issues fall at the national level. But one thing that we get to do is help remember those who have served our community. Earlier today, I got a phone call from the governor's office. Uh, she's going to be signing a bill that Rob Rawls and I worked on, which is to honor the life of Colonel Brinkerhoff. For those of you who know, the Brinkerhoff house is about a mile down the road this way. 
And uh, we're going to be renaming a stretch of Route 82 after Colonel Brinkerhoff, something that was requested by the town earlier last year. So I'm proud to work with the town in remembering uh, uh, someone that served our country and a family that served our community since prior to World War II. So thank you so much for everything that you all do. I look forward to uh, the continuation of the ceremony. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much, Assemblyman. Um, and we know that you had a lot of other ceremonies that you could be at today, and we're very grateful to you for, for choosing the Village of Fishkill. So thank you for coming. Um, and it gives me really great pleasure today to introduce my friend, Marine Corps Lance Corporal Della Pioli. Good morning. My name is Marine Corps veteran Lance Corporal Doug Deli Paoli. I'm a Fishco resident. I'm truly honored to speak to you on this Veterans Day. I would ask you not only to remember those we honor today at this ceremony, but to keep our soldiers who are deployed defending our freedom and their families in your thoughts and prayers. As a veteran of the Marine Corps, I am truly touched by the ceremonies that are happening throughout our nation today as we remember those who have fought to defend our freedom and way of life, some paying the ultimate sacrifice. Now to understand a veteran, you must know a few things. We left home as teenagers or in our early 20s for an unknown adventure. We loved our country enough to defend it and protect it with our own lives. We said goodbye to family and friends and everything we knew. We learned the basics and then we scattered in the wind to the far corners of the earth. We found new family and new friends. We became brothers and sisters regardless of race, color, or creed. We had plenty of good times and plenty of bad times. We certainly did not get enough sleep. We picked up good habits and definitely bad ones. We worked hard, we played harder. We didn't earn a great wage. We experienced the happiness of mail call and the sadness of missing important events. We did not know when or even if we were ever gonna see home again. We grew up fast and yet we never grew up at all. We fought for our freedom as well as the freedom of others. Some of us saw combat, some of us didn't. Some of us saw the world, and some of us didn't. Some of us dealt with physical warfare, some of us dealt with psychological warfare. We have experienced things that we can't fully describe or explain, and not all our sacrifices were physical. We participated in time-honored ceremonies with each other, strengthening our bonds and camaraderie. We counted on each other to get the job done, and just sometimes to survive it. We have dealt with victory and tragedy. We have celebrated, we have mourned. We lost a, a few along the way. When our service was over, some of us went home and started somewhere new, and some of us never came home at all. We have told amazing and hilarious stories of our exploits and adventures. We share an unspoken bond with each other that most don't experience and few will understand. We speak highly of our own branch and poke fun at the other branches. We know, however, that if needed, we will be there for our brothers and sisters and stand together as one in a heartbeat. Being a veteran is something that had to be earned. It can never be taken away. It has no monetary value, but at the same time, it's a priceless gift. People see a veteran and they thank them for their service. When we see each other, we give a little upwards head nod or a slight smile, knowing that we experience things most have not. So for myself to the rest of the veterans out there, I commend and thank you for all you have done and sacrificed for our great nation. Try to remember the good times and make peace with the bad ones. Share your stories, but most of all, stand tall and proud. You are net right. Thank you so much, Doug. Um, and then we'll ask Pastor John Young to come back up for our benediction. <clears throat> Let us receive the benediction of the Lord. May the Lord bless us and keep us. 
May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and grant us peace. Amen. And I'd like to invite Diana back up to sing God Bless America for us. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountain to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home. Sweet home, God bless America, my home, sweet home. Thank you. the police cadets to retire the collars. And thank you so much to our police cadets. They do a wonderful job every year. So in closing, I just want to thank you all for coming and showing your support for veterans and their families. It's important that we recognize these days and continue these traditions so they can live on. Thank you so much for coming.